Hi guys, my name's Callie and I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to switch all of your data from your old iPhone to your brand new Samsung foldable, helping you go from old to fold in a flash. Now all you're going to need is your old iPhone, your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, and of course, your old charging cable. Here's one I prepared earlier. So let's get straight into it. Now, firstly, you're going to want to put all of your focus onto the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Once you've turned the device on, you press Start. Next, it will ask you to choose your language. Now, there are 95 different languages to choose from. After you've chosen your selected language, press Next. This now gives you an option to review their legal settings. Now, you can go through all of the terms and conditions at your own leisure, or you can tick and agree to all of the above. It's entirely up to you. So you've got user license agreement and send diagnostic data. Now, this is really important because it helps Samsung customize their device perfect for you. After you've selected, just go next. Now you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network, which so nicely we've connected to the Samsung one. After you've done this, tap next. Now we're getting your phone ready to be set up. The first option that's going to be available to you is that incredible smart switch option, which is what we're going to be using in order to transfer all of that incredible data that you love from your old phone to your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now, as you can see, it's popped up and it says you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account and more. And this is exactly what we want to do. So I just tap next and it will say use your old device. You need your old Android, iPhone or iPad device. And in this case, it's our old iPhone. We select next. And now we're doing an update to Smart Switch. So once your update to Smart Switch has been done, this will then give you the option to choose between using a cable or choosing wireless. Now for this instance, we're using cable because it is the quickest and easiest method. Now, if you have data that is saved to your iCloud, don't worry, you can also bring that across by logging in with your iCloud email address and password. So all of your photos and everything else you have connected will move over to your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 too. Now that Smart Switch has updated, we have those two options I was talking about. So we have Galaxy slash Android and iPhone slash iPad. So we're going to connect to our iPhone. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions, and then we're going to get that trusty power cable out. Now you'll notice that it has two different ends. So your USB type C end will go into your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And then you have your lightning cable end, which will go into your old iPhone. Once you enter the cable into the iPhone, the transfer will automatically begin and it will start searching. So it says check your iPhone and tap trust on the pop-up. So what we need to do is select trust in order to be able to get access to all of our data and send it over to our brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Once you've pressed trust, if you have a passcode on your device, it will ask for that too. Fantastic. Now that we have a nice blue tick on our Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, we can press next. Now, this is searching the entire library of my old iPhone in order to make sure it brings across every single thing that you can think of. Now, in a short flash, it's actually put everything that I already have and I can select what I actually want. So I've got calls and contacts and messages and apps, data from iPhone app settings, home screen, images, videos and much more. Now, if I don't want particular things, maybe I want to start fresh with the messages, I can simply just untick them. But I'm happy with everything, so I want this to be as familiar as possible to my old device. So I'm just going to select Transfer. Now I need to sign into my Google account. Your Google account is so important because it connects you to the Play Store, which gives you all of those great apps downloaded that you loved from your old iPhone to your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. So I'm going to sign in. Now that I've signed in with my Google account, it's going to ask me to agree to Google's terms of service. Now, please feel free to read these at your own pleasure, but I've already done that, so I'm going to press I agree. This will then take me to the Google services page. This is really important. So it says back up to Google Drive. Now, as you would with iCloud and your old iPhone, Google Drive is your cloud based service for all of your documents, all of your images, all of your photos, all of your videos, everything that you could possibly need connected to Google Drive. So I'm going to put backup so I know everything's going to be there. 
Now that my old iPhone has been searched, on my brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3, it actually shows me all of the applications I have and that can be transferred easily. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot, a nice little 118 there. But the one I really want to focus on is actually the top one, which is WhatsApp Messenger. Now, if you can see this, it says, App will ask for permissions, chat, history, and media. You'll need to scan a QR code with your iPhone. Now that might be a little hint to say that we have an exclusive partnership with WhatsApp, which means that you can actually now transfer for the first time all of your chats from your iPhone to your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. This is huge as we've never done this before and no other manufacturer has either. So it means that you get all of the chats that you love and that barrier is then broken down in order to come and join Samsung on your brand new Galaxy Z Fold 3. So I'm gonna install. Now you'll notice on my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, it says transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap start. So what I do is I go back over to my iPhone. I go into WhatsApp. I then press settings. I then go to chats and you'll see a setting here that says move to Android. And I definitely want to start this. So it's getting chats ready. Keep your iPhone unlocked and WhatsApp open. And it's as easy as that. Continue on your new phone. So keep the cable connected and once the setup is done, oh, easy as that, already done. So my Google account's been added and now all of my chats are importing as we speak. I'm gonna go next. After we've gone next, it will showcase the date and time. Now you always wanna make sure that's accurate because you don't wanna be late to work. Once you've pressed next, you'll all go back onto the Google services page. Now, as I mentioned before, you can back up your device to Google Drive, which includes your apps, your data, your call history, contacts, and much more. Then you have three other options. So use location is really important if you're like me and you're a commuter and you use Google Maps. Allow scanning enables us to be able to connect to Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices. We then have a device maintenance section. This helps improve your Android experience as it will send diagnostic device and app data to Google. So this helps your battery life and other improvements as well. And we want to automatically install those updates and apps as well. Then we click accept. Now we can choose our search provider. There are multiple different options to choose from, but I'm going to go with ye old faithful Google and click next. Security is so important when it comes to your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And there are multiple different options for you to choose from in order to keep your device as secure as possible. From face recognition to fingerprints to patterns to pins to password, it's entirely up to you. I would personally recommend the fingerprint scanner as it is the most secure method of unlocking your device. And your fingerprint scanner is just located on the side of your device. So it feels nice and comfortable in your hand. Now, after we've chosen our preferred security method, including that incredible fingerprint scanner, we then go on to set up our incredible AI assistant, Google Assistant. Now, all you need to do is say, hey, Google, to finish the setup. After you've set up Google Assistant, this moves us on to the, one of the most crucial parts of your phone setup, your Samsung account. This is so integral to your day-to-day -day usage of your device, as it gives you access to Samsung Pay Plus, where you can take all of your payments. Samsung Pass to store all of your passwords that you use for your apps and websites. And Samsung Members, your one-stop shop for all of your information on Samsung. It has an ever-growing community of users to help support and showcases all of the offers that we currently have on and some discounts on some fancy new products and accessories. Fantastic! Once you've signed in with your email address and your password, you'll come to this page. Now, this is all about those privacy and terms and conditions that we spoke about earlier with Google. The same kind of process with your Samsung account, so you can read them at your own leisure. But you'll see that there are two things here left for you to tick. Now, the first one is customization service. This helps Samsung give content and recommendations based on your interest to see how your device might better benefit you. And then lastly, we have turn on offline finding. This is crucial if you're like me and you're very, very clumsy and leave your devices all around and never know where they are. Offline finding means that even if your device is turned off, it will give you the last known live location, which can actually help you find your device. So once we've read through our terms and conditions and we're happy and we've selected and ticked all of the options, we then press agree. 
After we've set up our Samsung account, this moves us on to the customization part of our brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now, if you loved the gesture controls of your old iPhone, you can actually turn gesture controls instead of a back button, a home button, and a reclosed apps button too. I prefer gestures. So once I've clicked my gestures, I'm gonna go next. And now I can organize my phone. So you can either have one screen, which is your home screen that will have all of your apps on, or you can swipe up from the bottom of your device and have access to your app drawer. It's entirely up to you. I prefer both because I like to have all my favorite apps on the front and then everything else I use, I can just swipe up and find. So we go next. Once we've started customizing our device, this then takes us to a really, really important screen, which gives us some tips and hints on how to keep our phone protected, such as making sure that you have, there's nothing in your hinge, you're not pressing too hard on the display, and lots of other things that I'd recommend you take a quick look at. After you've read through and you're happy with everything, press next. Now it's telling me that I'm all set up and ready to go. So my smart switch is still happening in the background. So I don't need to worry about anything. I don't need to check up on everything and I can start using my Galaxy Z Flip straight away. So I'm gonna press finish. Now my Galaxy Z Flip 3 is ready for me to start using from making my calls, my texts and logging into my favorite apps. If I wanna see the status of my smart switch, that's really easy too. So I just drop down from my navigation bar and you'll see here, smart switch, 50.4%. So we're over half of the way there. Now, whilst you're waiting for your smart switch to complete, here are a few hints and tips on how to get around and get familiar with your brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3. So firstly, you'll notice that they've just got some plain applications on the front. Now you can customize this and add all of your favorites like I do whenever you feel like it. If you want access to all of the rest of the apps, all you need to do is swipe up from the bottom of your display and it will just showcase all of the ones that are pre-installed just whilst your smart switch is downloading all of your other apps from your old iPhone in the background. Also, you've got your quick panel. So you pull down from your navigation bar and this will show you kind of your notifications and what's going on like your smart switch and your Google updates. Then if you swipe down again, you'll notice that you have access to different quick settings. Anything that's blue is turned on and anything that's gray is turned off. This gives you quick access to anything you might need, such as your mobile hotspot, your Wi-Fi, or even your Bluetooth. Now, when your smart switch is finished, you're going to want those all-important WhatsApp chats. So when you go back into your apps and you select WhatsApp, you'll come up with this message after you put your mobile phone number in. So it's importing chat history. We need permission to restore your chats. So we want to start this straight away. So we press start. We allow access. And now it's transferring all of my chats from my iPhone to my brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now, after we've waited for our chats to import, it will then say import complete. We press next, and then we add our name in. As you can see now, all of my chats have transferred from my old iPhone to my brand new Galaxy Z Flip. Even the messages that I haven't even read this morning. So super easy to use and another massive benefit of choosing Samsung as your brand new smartphone. Whew, pretty great, right? Now, although WhatsApp chats are super important, it's not the only thing that's been transferred. Like we mentioned before, pretty much everything from your old iPhone's been sent over to your new Galaxy Z Flip 3, like your text messages, and even your contacts. So there we have it, a quick and easy way of transferring all of your data from your old to your fold. Thanks a lot, see you soon.